Hi, my name is Benjamin Gill, and this is a tutorial on split screening and split comping in Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. So split screening and split comping are editing and visual effect techniques that enable you to nitpick and scrutinize every element in an individual frame, and then alter those elements within the frame to achieve perfect performances and perfect timing, and thus creating a new perfect take that serves your story better than any takes you got on set. And this is a technique that David Fincher and his team of editors have become known for. And they say that they do this effect hundreds of times in a film. Basically, any frame that has two people in it, they probably altered performance in some way. David Fincher has become known as this precise and calculated filmmaker, and his cinematography reflects that. He only likes precise, stable, smooth camera. He doesn't like handheld, he doesn't like steady cam. He wants tripod shots, dolly track, cranes. He wants it to be smooth as possible. And this cinematography style works perfectly in tandem with split screening and split comping. Because of how smooth it is, you can get away with a lot of the seams that you wouldn't be able to get away with if it was handheld. So here are some examples of David Fincher's work, and I drew some lines showing you how this technique can be used. This is a still from Benjamin Button. And as you can see, I drew a line to split the frame into an A side and a B side. When you split the frame, you want it to be a clean break so that you can manipulate the A side and the B side independently with no seams. So now that we have these two separated, we can move each clip independently in time to reduce gaps in dialogue, to increase gaps in dialogue, to make dialogue overlap. You can grab a performance from way earlier in the take or in a different take entirely, assuming that the tripod is the same in both shots. And David Fincher frames for this on purpose so that he can fine tune performances he got on set in post. So here's an example of how this can be used in even an over the shoulder shot where one character is dirty in the frame. So as long as the split does not cross the other actor, you can still move this in time and replace this shot with another take to make it better fit the continuity when you switch to the reverse. Here's an example of split comping to achieve three different performances in a frame. We have an A side, a B side, and a C side that all three can be manipulated independently to fine tune the performances. So this is a film I edited last semester called Remnants, and it features a character that chooses his victims based on their blonde hair. And we wanted to emphasize him staring at her hair creepily, like while she says this dialogue. This is the original, right? We have her saying her line and him staring for a second and then replying. Right? And then this is the fix. So we have her saying her line and her continuing her line, but he's just creepily staring at her the whole time. And we delay and drag out before he says his line. So what results in is a much creepier performance because we're just watching him stare at her the whole time. And then in After Effects, this is the shot that we want to change. So here's the original, right? We have him nodding and saying his line. So basically we want to cut out this section of the frame and move it a little bit to the left in time to elongate his staring. So we draw a mask right around this area and you can see if I turn this on and off how different the performances are. So basically we have the freedom now, now that we have this masked, to just move performance and this side is unaffected. So if I turn off the mask sides, you can see that if our, if our seam is perfect, we can just adjust this side of the frame, as well as this side of the frame, independently of each other to achieve the look we want. So here's an example of another film I cut in the fall. This is Where Have You Been? And the final scene is this character seeing the other one for the first time in a really long time. There's no dialogue in this final scene, and everything that you're trying to portray is just through their looks at each other. So in the actual performances, I didn't have quite as long of looks as I wanted, so I used split comping to elongate their looks to achieve a better impact. So here's an example of what it looked like, right? So we have him looking, and then he starts to smile, and then this one's normal. She looks at him, and then we have this one where he looks for a little bit but then he starts to look down, and this one, she starts to look down too early. And basically, I just want to elongate those. So here's what it would look like, that same thing, if I cut before they look down or blink.
So to me, it just it just feels a little bit too abrupt on some of these cuts, and I just want a few more frames back onto the end of it. So here's what it looked like when it was fixed using split comping. So we just have much longer looks. We linger a little bit with the characters before they break eye contact. So here's how I use split comping to elongate looks in After Effects. The first one is the most complicated because we have this smoke element that needs to move at normal speed or we will immediately notice that it's been slowed down. So basically I had to mask around this smoke element and add him on top. So we have two layers. So if we look later, this is the part where I wanted it elongated. Um, when I take him away, we have a clean plate that I removed him, and then we have him on top. So as you can see, the actual performance, he's actually moved a little bit more to the left. And when he's elongated, he stays on the right. So I have much finer masks in this one than the remnants one. And I have a lot of feathering to to sell the smoke still moving. So these I can move independently. So I use time remapping to slow them down. So I'm pretty sure this was the actual end. This was normal. And so I almost doubled the time and elongated it. But since the smoke is still moving at normal speed, we get away with it. And here's the other one of the actor staring. And this one is much simpler. All I had to do was elongate the two keyframes for time remapping. Now the one of the female actress is a is a great example of split comping because I not only split comped here, I also split comped her hands and changed the performance there. We have again a background element that needs to move at normal speed or we will notice the change and that is just this sparkler guy. And I have a mask around her hands because in the actual take her hands fidget a lot and I thought it was distracting so I found a part of the take where her hands were stationary and replaced it. So here's here's before and here's after. And then I have a different mask for her upper body and her head. And that I just remapped and slowed down her head's performance. But since we have this element in the background moving at full speed, we get away with just this section of the frame being slowed down. And that's basically it. That's split comping. So basically you're cutting out different parts of the frame and manipulating them in time and space to achieve the perfect take that you never got on set that allows you to better serve your story. I'm Ben Gill, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you keep watching.